Hello and welcome. Um, today I want to show you how we can turn this thin client uh, from HP into a kind of thick server. I mean, I just need a home server, but this one originally came with only 4 gigs drive, which was even um, kind of um, not working properly due to the aging, I believe. And I had to boot it from the USB flash. It is kind of pretty slow and I've decided I need an SSD inside. So let's see how we can upgrade this thin client uh, somehow so it would be more of use as a small fanless home server. So disassembling this is kind of pretty tricky. Let's see. Here is it. I'm going to remove this cover to get inside. By the way, uh, there are hidden USB ports here inside, which could be used to boot it or connect mouse and keyboard and so on. So, there is actually a S88 port here and uh, probably it should be in some world, in some universe possible to install a, an SSD drive right here, but you can see it won't fit because it's kind of physical and fits. So I've ordered this from China for kind of few cents and with this small riser I can install something here horizontally. I believe this part could be cut to make it fit in the connector. So let's cut it. We do always cut what we don't like. All right. Let's see if it fits now. I think it should. Yes. Perfect. Also, I think this should be cut off, or I can do something like this. Yes, don't need to cut it off, just need to pull it down. Let's see if that's possible to do. Yes, no need to cut it even. So now the hard drive should be installable here. I think the way like this. But you can see it won't physically fit here as well. So uh, I thought uh, I don't need actually uh, all the drive, all the 128 gigabytes. What if I cut this drive by two and use one of the parts in my home server and uh, another part 
I don't think I need it right now, so I'll have kinda 60 gigs here for the server and another for 64 gigs for uh, something else. So let's just cut our SSD, new brand new SSD drive uh, by two. So now we have one 64 gigs drive and another one. But, oops, there is no board, there is no drive, there is actually nothing. And uh, here we actually have the drive itself. So, uh, we can use this with this remaining part of the case or even remove the case if it will not physically fit again let's see if it does no I don't think so so we don't need the case at all. And what we need is here, actually inside. So just remove the circuit board. And can install this right here. That's it. Now you have an awesome kind of home server with an Intel Atom processor with a couple gigs of RAM. Uh, by the way, you can also install a Wi-Fi model here, right here. So you can kind of cut your old laptop by two and pull a Wi-Fi board from there. Uh, so, thank you for watching and uh, have a good day. Oh, and for those who are not very confident if that will be working after that vandalism, like if the port is actually soldered there on the board and like that, or if the drive survived after cutting it, uh, let's plug it in the power supply. The display port and uh, the keyboard I have on my desk. It powers up. Oops. There is the drive information here. Here it is. CX400 128. Uh, let me move my camera to show it to you. Here is it. This is the drive. This is the server information. So it works perfectly. Thank you for watching again and see ya. Let me recommend you something. It's a thcc.name website a hardware compatibility catalog. This is a place where you can find out if your hardware is compatible with an operating system you are going to use on that. Like if you are going to buy a new laptop, you can figure out if you can install and use your favorite Linux on that. It's pretty simple and straightforward. You can pick your vendor here, you can pick your device type here, you can search for your model yeah there is my model here and yeah this device is already scored for some operating systems if your device is not still here you can add that yourself and also you can score your device right here